Okay, basically there she is, kind of roughed out. I've got all of that section done around behind the toilet and around the uh, skylight. There's a little part back in here uh, that goes in behind the staircase. And I'm going to leave the old back side of that plastic wall exposed. And I'm going to sheetrock the top back in here. And uh, this paneled wall here, uh, I may just leave it and then paint it white. And uh, there's, a, there's a section of open plaster back in there too. And I might slop a little paint on that and otherwise not finish it. Because I think it's kind of neat to have a section of the house. I see a spot right there where I might throw a piece of... Uh, a piece of sheetrock, see where that insulation is, just to hide the insulation. But I think it's kind of neat to leave a little section like that, like it was. It kind of speaks to the old nature of how the house was originally put together. And I think it's nice in places, especially a hidden place like this, to have it um, have it still be exposed. So, with that said, I'm going to put up that other piece of sheetrock, maybe do something with that corner right there, and uh, and we'll take a step back and see what we think. Okay, that's done. Now I just need to come back and do the spackling. I got it done all the way into there. And uh, next thing I'm going to do is out here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that big piece up first right here. That's going to take a, almost a whole sheet of sheetrock. And then I'm going to work on that all those funny corners and angles around that closet door. Let's see how far I get before I run out of sheetrock.